Merry Christmas. So glad to be on this journey with you. Well, as we continue our reading this morning, I want us to remind you of Herod's response. He knew Jesus was the Messiah, but he was more worried about himself than he was about actually finding God. He was worried about his own kingship and what it meant for him. And how many times are we more worried about the cost to ourselves than we are about actually engaging with God and being in relationship with him and seeing him in our lives? Well, let's look at how the, the wise men respond. So as we continue in Matthew chapter 2, verse 9, it says, After the interview, the wise men went their way, and the star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy and entered the house. They saw the child with his mother married and they bowed down and worshiped him. When they opened their treasure chests and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. When it was time to leave, they returned to their own country by another route for God had warned them in a dream not to return to Herod. My friends, on this beautiful Christmas morning, I want to process with you the wise men. How do they get to Jesus? What is it that they do in order to get to Jesus? You see, this is the first time that we're told the star moves, that the star guides them. Why does God guide them? I want you to process that. And then, my friends, they don't show up empty-handed. They bring Jesus gifts. And on Christmas, we are always looking for what I'm going to get, what presents I'm going to get. Today, I want to encourage you, what can you give Jesus today? What does it look like? What is your gift that you're going to give him on his birthday? So I encourage you to share that with some people and share the Christmas story with other people today. I love you all. Have a very Merry Christmas, and I'll see you again soon.